from under recruited to making a place for himself in the Memphis Tigers baseball history books. Aaron Wilson was there to witness the moment a Knoxville native retired his jersey. Life throws a lot of curveballs. Everything happens for a reason. So being able to just stay who you are and true to who you are, I think that's what Coach Rock's done since he's been here. Chad Zercher only had one offer coming out of high school. It was from Memphis head coach Darren Schoenrock. I just want to thank him for the, the time he gave to Chad and the, the chance he gave Chad because, like Chad said, he was the only he was small and he didn't get quite the look at just because of that. But that one look he did get set him to be the 31st pick in the 2011 MLB draft to the New York Mets. However, prior to that, Zercher was named the Conference USA Player of the Year, leading the country with a .443 batting average. Now, as an athletic official with UT Knox, he returned to Memphis in Sean Rock's final season to see his jersey retired. It wouldn't have been the same if it was next year or years down the line. And now every time he walks into FedEx Park, his picture will hang with 14 other former Tigers behind the third base dugout. I think that was when it kind of hit me when I was walking in and I looked at all those and knowing some of them, um, you know, you, you've done something impactful and it's okay for a moment to be a little selfish and enjoy it. Chad said he never expected to be labeled as one of Memphis's greats. I mean, it's unbelievable. You don't think about it when you go to college about, hey, try to make a Hall of Fame or get your jersey retired. It's just playing baseball and good things happen. And now those good things will forever be remembered. At FedEx Park, I'm Aaron Wilson reporting.